right, since I did not cut last time, I'm gonna cut this time. Remember your marking should be on the back. I'm drawing the lines that I'm gonna cut, which are the up and down lines. And the lines that I am going to, or where I'm gonna stop is that side to side line. Okay, so we're going to first string our warp, and then we will start weaving our weft. I'm sure you be thinking about your first three colors that you want to do, because we're going to do three strings today. All right, let's see here. So our weft is going to be our longest piece. And I'm going to give you our skinnier string, we measure it first. And our main goal with this is that we want to make it not too tight, but tight enough to work with. So you're going to have a piece of tape too. And you're gonna take the end of the string and put it through your first top left notch. So there's gonna be a little bit on the back and we're gonna go ahead and tape that down. Now we're gonna go up and down. But instead of wrapping it around the back, we'll wrap it around each one of these cuts. So your first one will go down and into your cut. And then instead of going back around, what we're going to do is just go to its neighbor. So we're gonna to go to its neighbor, put the string through, and on the front ends up looking like this. So we're going sideways to its neighbor to make a short distance so we can start the next one. Come up, go through, go next to next door to its neighbor, behind, go through, come back down. So you're gonna continue putting it into the notch, going right next door to its neighbor to start the next vertical warp. Your back should look like, kind of like stitching like that. They shouldn't go all the way through or all the way across. They only should go all the way across on the front. Okay, you will probably have a little extra, which is okay. Go ahead and cut that off and we'll tape that down. So you see how each of my little cuts have like a little small piece in between them. And then my front looks like this. All right, you're going to get your first string and a plastic needle. This is plastic, so it's pretty safe, but still I want you to be careful with it. By watching this video, you are agreeing that you are going to be safe with this needle. You are not going to pretend to poke anybody with it or yourself, because it still is a little pointy. So make sure you are being safe. So right now you're going to watch as I do my first piece you and I will be passing out colors and um, 
needles as you watch. Then I will play this again so that way you can do the weaving with me. So you will thread your yarn through, leave a few inches so that way it doesn't pull through your needle. This is the end. You are going to, like we did with our paper weaving, go in a pattern of over and under. So I'm gonna start under, over, under, and I'm just kind of letting my needle go up and down as I rock it up and down. If I need to pick it up, I can. Under, and because we have an odd number of strings, it should end up the same as your first one. Go ahead and pull through until you have a little bit hanging off of the left side. You want that little bit extra. Now you will have a fork. I'm gonna do this with my fingers because I don't have a fork. And you will push up your string. All right, so your next weft needs to be opposite. So instead of going under again, because if you go under, when you pull through, the whole thing will pull out, you will go over. So this was under, so this next one has to be over, under, over, under, over. I'm just using the needle to kind of rock back and forth or rock up and down to weave it and pull through. It is important when you pull through for this one and all the rest of these that you do not pull too much. Mine actually on this one, see how it's kind of pinching in? You don't want that to happen. You also don't want a giant loop at the end left that could get caught. So pull it enough to make it even, not too much more. And you will take your fork and you will push it up. Okay, this last one went over. So my next one is gonna go under. I'm gonna show you what happens when you do it wrong though. So I'm gonna go over, so I'm gonna go over on this one, under, over, under. So I did not do the correct one because this one went over, this one should go under, but instead I'm gonna go over again. When you pull through, ah, it will pull the whole string through. So make sure that the next row, the next, um, next weft, you are going the opposite of the one you just ended up with. Pull it through. Not too tight, not too loose, push it up. This one I'll go under. So your steps are, make sure it goes the opposite. Over, under, over, under, pull it through, not too tight, not too loose, and push it up. Once again, you will have a fork for this to push it up a little more. Now, as you're getting to the end of your string, You're gonna pull through as much as you can. So this length string goes about four times, maybe five. Actually, I probably can get this through a fifth without my needle. Let's see here. Oops, a little too much pull. I'm gonna leave these strings out for right now. When my weaving gets a little thicker, I'm going to just push them under. So your strings on your weaving right now can kind of just be hanging out. We can push them under later. All right, so this one started over, so the next one should be under. I'm gonna start from this side just because I don't want too many strings coming from that side. Go 
going opposite of the one above it. Not pulling too tight, not leaving it too loose. Slow the video down if you need to. Do one more color. Let's see here. All right, that one went under, so the next one is going to go over. Make sure you have tuck the strings under. You're just gonna use your needle and you're just going to kind of push down on them. Uh, this one I'm gonna go over one more time. Actually, yeah, I'll go over one more time. And you'll just push them under, like that. This one, because it's an under, I'm going to loop it once so it doesn't come. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna just push this one under too. No, I wanna loop it. So since it's an under one, I wanna kind of loop it through once, around, and then I'm gonna push it under. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see this one. cut them off too short or they might unravel, but you can cut them off a little bit if it helps get them under. Okay, so our first three. Next time I'm gonna show you how to do a interlocking pattern, so like a triangle pattern. Kind of like this where one color fades into another. And then at the bottom we will do this. Um, and you will have an opportunity that if you want to in the middle do some painting that will do a lot of white. So be thinking ahead of to colors that you want to do for the interlocking as well as if you want a white area that we can paint and what kinds of things you might want to put on the bottom including uh, maybe some fun yarn.